Greetings, my friends. Jimmer Linz here with your source filmmaker tip of the day. Today is tip of the day number 12. I hope you had a good weekend. I know I did, and I am pleased to be back here bringing you these tips of the day every weekday. Uh, and again, thank you to everybody who has been subscribing to my YouTube channel and leaving all the great feedback and your suggestions for tips of the day. I have a whole stack of them. Uh, I will try and get to as many of them as I can as quickly as I possibly can. Uh, for today's tip of the day, though, I'm going to show you a useful little trick for being able to access sounds that are recorded when you record in-game animation. And that includes all the, like, the ambient effects and the sounds that characters make and the bullets and all of that stuff. Uh, and the reason I want to show you this is for a couple of purposes. The first one is so that maybe you want to find these sounds and get rid of them, or you want to manipulate them in some way, and you don't find them down here on the soundtrack. I mean, they're not in the dialogue music or effects track, so they're part of the part of a take when you record it. Maybe you want to get rid of them, adjust them, modify them, or what if you just want to uh, do things like eliminate the ambient reverb effect that you get on a lot of maps. Greenery is particularly bad for that. Uh, and one of the things that I've found when I'm recording on granary or maps that have this sort of weird ambient echo is that the DSP, the digital signal processing that the Valve Source games have, really adds a sort of a very disconcerting, it's like, wow, that's that's really echoey. It sounds like it's being recorded in a metal box. Now, that's fine when you're in a game and it's a little less intense and, and it gives you that sort of immersion feeling, but when you're recording these movies, it can be very distracting and it, it really does make it sound pretty bad. Uh, so there's a couple of things I'll show you here. So first, how do we access the sounds? Before I began recording this, I, I did a, a quick setup here, and I just recorded an engineer here standing on uh, granary, uh, and he's just going to taunt. Now, you can't hear the sound playing back through my headphones, unfortunately, but I know you know what it sounds like, so we'll just leave it at that. So I just did this so I would have some a way to show you. If I uh, go back to the beginning of the shot, and I will right-click the shot, and I will say Show an Element Viewer. And over here in the element viewer, I will then expand track groups and take one. Now, this might look a little different for you, uh, depending on how many takes you've done and which shot you're looking at, but you get the idea. So I expand take one, expand tracks. And if we look down here, you can see that there are a whole bunch of sub elements here. But the ones I'm most interested in are game sounds and game voices. Looking at game sounds, there's a whole list of these things here. Uh, bird 3, that's the ambient noise of the bird chirping. This is one copy of this for every time that engineer smacks his wrench into his hand. And if you've tried to record the engineer on gravel pit, or excuse me, granary, you've noticed, it, depending on where he's standing, it sounds like he's in a box. It's like it goes back, and then it's bap, 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 bap. And you get this, like, two, sometimes two, three, four times echoing, and it's very annoying. Um, and all of these other sounds right here. Uh, you can expand these. Let's say that we wanted to eliminate the echoing effect on one of these. And you'd have to do the problem that I've found is that if I want to eliminate the echo effect on, on, on something like this, I have to go through and do it manually for each one. But it's relatively easy to do. You can expand the, um, the audio node and then expand the sound node. And if you go down here to where it says sound name, you can uh, put up pound sign at the beginning of it. And that tells the source engine not to use any digital signal processing. In other words, when it plays this sound, to just play it through your speakers and not give it any DSP post-processing so it doesn't add any of the ambient reverb that you get depending on the map. That is one directive or one operator that you can get from uh, this list here, which is the uh, uh, sound scripts. If you go to um, developer.valvesoftware.com slash wiki slash sound scripts, you will find that there are a whole bunch of these things down here. Let's see, where is it? The list is right here. Sound characters. The first two characters of a wave's name are scanned for the following. And then you can look at these and they will give you an idea of what they're for. The pound, sound, the pound sign says car dry mix. It bypasses DSP and affected by the music by the user's music volume setting. Uh, car omni, non-directional, audible everywhere. That means you could you could hear it throughout the entire map. The Doppler stuff. Experiment with these. See what you think. See how they work. Um, I, I haven't tried all of these myself. I don't know how well they all work in Source Filmmaker, but I do know that putting this pound sign at the beginning of a sound causes it to not make that noise. Uh, so for what that's worth. Um, or not make the, not get the echoing effect. 
Uh, so yeah, and and you can see all of the other sounds, and it would actually be easy. I can I can delete these, so you know you can make um, the, the the engineer hit his hand and not make any noise at all. So at least one of those taps that he's doing just won't make any sound. Uh, I've noticed also these tend to be in the order that they are recorded in, but I don't think I can guarantee that. Uh, but like, say you recorded something and you're like, oh man, that, that ambient cow sound is in the background. How do I get rid of it? Because I don't want that in my in my thing. You just go and find it and you can just right click it and say, no more cows. Uh, and you know you can uh, experiment with this and uh, modify and manipulate the sounds again as always be careful using the element viewer because you can <laughs> you can break things uh, and I won't be held responsible if you corrupt your installation or your or your project or anything like that but uh, you should be relatively safe uh, and then if we go here also game voices um, we can change like this is the engineer laugh long o one dot wave, so I could put a pound sign in front of that to cause him not to have any ambient echo effect uh, again, so that I can produce the right effect that I want. Uh, so check out the sound scripts, take a look at the uh, at the audio tracks in your uh, recordings, and maybe find a way to tweak them if you've uh, had sounds in there that you simply just got tired of having and. Uh, I hope that you found this tip of the day useful. As always, I am Jimmer Linz, and I am very pleased to bring you these tips of the day. Today was tip of the day number 12. Thank you for watching, and as always, enjoy using Source Filmmaker.